Hi, welcome to Raw Math. Today I'm doing a series of videos on formula manipulation. Um, in this video, what I want to take is I want to take the this formula, volume equals pi r squared h, and I want to solve it once for h and once for r, once for the height, once for the radius. In both of these cases, my first step is simply going to be to divide. For the first one, I'm going to divide by all of the pi and the r squared. I don't need to do this in two steps. I'm going to flip it around so my h is on the left so that the h is equal to the volume divided by the pi r squared. And this will be done for this problem. For my second one, again I just need to divide, but in this case I'm dividing by the pi and the h. And again I'm going to flip it around and I'm going to have r squared equals volume divided by pi h. Now you could say h pi, pi h, it's multiplication, you can go either way. When you, as a person solving a problem, introduce a square root, which is the inverse of a square, you have to acknowledge that the square root could come from a positive or a negative place. Now you're sitting there going, wait a second, a radius is a distance and distance has to be positive, so it should only have a positive answer, so the only plausible answer is the radius is the square root of the volume divided by pi h, which is mostly true, except if you're talking about trigonometry, in which case you're talking about a unit circle, and the radius actually can be negative. So there is a case out there, in which case the radius could also be negative, the square root of volume divided by pi h. This is the smaller one because it's negative. Make sure your V is capital if you're entering this into a online homework type system. That's usually where I find students make the biggest mistakes is not capitalizing and making sure your variables are case sensitive. All right, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel, like my Facebook page, and I'll see you on the next video. Thanks.